been really important for you to own your own music? This was something that started out as a really hard thing I went through. Well, it's paying off today. Taylor's a billionaire. Bloomberg estimates she's racked up $1.1 billion. And while that's below Jay-Z's $2.5 billion and Riri's $1.4, Taylor stands out because this bank is mostly from music profits, which puts her on par with Paul McCartney at $1.2 billion. And it's thanks to her heiress tour. Hey, Taylor! Thank you for coming. Last night, Taylor went to dinner with Bestie and fellow singer Alana Hyam. And yep, we see that Easter egg. Swift's black Stella McCartney mini and Ralph Lauren trench is super similar to the outfit she wore exactly nine years ago when she first released 1989. And today, Taylor gave us a behind the music of her new tracks, including one called Slut. If they call me a slut, you know it might be worth it for once. I kind of cheekily play on the discussions at that time in my life around my dating life. I've always wanted it to come out into the world, and now it is, so yay. Taylor's also taking rumors that she's bisexual head on. In 1989's liner notes, she writes after the quote slut shaming over her relationships with men, she focused on her girl squad thinking quote, if I only hung out with my female friends, people couldn't sensationalize or sexualize that, right? I would learn later on that people could and people would. As for her breakup with Harry Styles, Q Tay's new track, Is It Over Now? Swifties say it reflects back to a snowmobile accident they got into while dating. Red blood, white snow. I always saw this song as sort of a sister to Out of the Woods. Of course, now she's one half of Swellsea. 1989 is both her birth year and Travis Kelsey's. ET's learned Taylor's not expected at his game on Sunday. Could that hurt him? He was averaging like 99 yards per game when she is there and like 46 yards per game when she's not there. I don't get quite that superstitious. Papa Ed Kelsey told me in our exclusive, when it comes to dating Taylor, Travis is heeding his advice. Being genuine with your feelings, being respectful of a woman and be yourself, be honest. Mm -hmm. Don't toy with someone's emotions. Our source says it's working. Quote, Taylor is loving dating Travis. She likes that they both have their own careers and separate lives, but also connect on so many levels. They bring out the best in each other. And I think she realizes how committed Travis is. They're both very supportive of each other.